Hey everyone, hope you are having a fantastic day guys. Welcome back to the MGN Destiny 2 YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video, I am actually going to show you how you can solo a 1050 loss sector. Now the reason why this is so important is because all the new exotics, well not all of them, not the most recent ones that have come out, but the new exotics that came out first of all that launched with Beyond Light can only be obtained in these lost sectors and only if you do them on your own. And there's still not even a chance that you'll even get it. The, the drop rate on these exotics is fairly low, but if you're lucky and you're able to get past it all by yourself, you could get it. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So I actually soloed the lost sector at uh, 1227, I believe. I was fairly low definitely quite considerably below the recommended cap um, and conveniently enough the lost sector that is available right now uh, is the same one that I actually did when I first did it so if you guys take a look at my screen right now this is the loadout that we are going in we're going to be taking a sniper rifle because we definitely need those long range shots we're going to be taking anarchy the reason why we're taking anarchy is because you can quite literally just shoot a couple enemies and then just run and hide. You don't even have to do anything. You can just do something else you want to. Take a sip of your drink or have a snack as this gun just bites them down over time. And we're going to be doing a 7 Sarah weapon purely because I definitely want those Warmind cells. I don't have any solar weapons. Uh, that might be a bit of a problem purely because there are, I believe, solar enemies in this lost sector. I think there's two, but we'll, we'll figure our way around it. Okay, so if you take a look on the map, the current lost sector is an Astrian Abyss on the right-hand side of Europa's map. I'm already there, so we're going to jump to the lost sector and see how we get on. Quite literally, just follow what I do. Um, it is very, very simple if you're a warlock, I won't lie to you. If you want to get some easy exotics, definitely start on the warlock purely because there's just so many options that you have available to you, especially right now, uh, where you can just freeze enemies. It's, it's, it's so simple. I'll show you how easy it is. Okay, um, so like I said, just I understand that I'm a higher light level now, so I understand I'm way above average. Um, but everything that I'm doing in this lost sector and everything that you see is exactly what I did uh, when I was a lower light as well. Um, so yeah, literally just pay attention to that. So first you want to clear out these enemies. The more you do it, the more you actually fully understand that's the one. So there's a champion at the back. He always spawns straight away. So we want to bait him over here. That's the easiest way to take care of this guy. He will eventually teleport around here. Yep, there he is there. So as you can see, he still does damage. So you want to freeze him. Once he's frozen, throw a grenade on him. Now you want to just use Anarchy and just watch his health go down. What is as simple as that. And that is exactly what I did. That is exactly what I did. No different. So we want to use our snipers for these longer range enemies. I think there's there's definitely one more over there. Yeah, there he is. Okay. So I'm just gonna whittle this guy's health down. I might even use anarchy in this guy as well. So one thing you'll learn as you watch this is I'm very bad with grenade launchers. I usually can't aim. <laughs> so just, just remember that. The fact that I can aim and I was still able to pass this. I literally had my friends in a call with me as I was doing it. And they were just laughing at all of my shots. So again we want to use our sniper rifle because enemies spawn at the far back. Try and take down as many as you can. It's not a big deal if you miss a couple. It's very, very easy to panic when you're doing this sort of thing. Purely because you are on a time limit. If you take any longer... That's the art guy. If you take any longer than 15 minutes, then you lose your chance of getting a exotic. And that's obviously the point as to why you're doing this. So you don't want to put that at risk, obviously. Cool. I want to get that last guy because these guys can be a pain when they're shooting from behind. Alright, cool. So we're going to take care of this guy. 
quite literally run over there. Shoot your anarchy shots. Move away. He's going to pop his shield eventually. There it is. Take it down. Use your anarchy shots again. And we'll just watch him die. It's literally as simple as that. That's another champion. Done. Nice and easy. I thought I killed that guy. Apparently not. I think that's another solar, solar shield over there. I think. If it is, again, it's no big deal. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. One thing I will say is every single time you kill a champion, you do actually get a life. So don't worry if you die. If you die first of all, definitely restart. If you don't die and you're able to take down a couple champions before you actually go down, then... Wow. Wow! Okay, there you go. So there's a prime example. So just remember that. I'm that bad. And you're, uh... And you're good to go. Alright, so quite least I can just throw that there. And then just hide. That guy's gonna eventually die. If not, just go back, throw some more. Literally as simple as that. Literally as simple as that. Guys, for a more accurate description on the build that I'm using and more specific reasons as to why I'm actually doing the things that I'm doing with the mods that I have on, definitely make sure to go and check out the MGN Destiny 2 blog because that's where I'll be writing all the information you need to know, all the in-depth information that I don't necessarily talk about in this video purely because I'm concentrating. Um, so definitely remember to go and check that out if you want more tips and tricks and guides as to how I'm actually able to pass this as easy as what I am. How I'm getting my grenades back instantly, for example, and things like that. It's definitely worth a read. If you are interested in that, there is a link in the description below for you guys to go and check that out. Alright, so you want to take these guys out. Get rid of the sniper at the back. That's one thing I always say. There's a sniper that quickly runs, as you just seen there. You want to get rid of him as quick as you can. Um, if you're doing this at a low light level, he will one-tap you. Jump over, and then just jump back. And the reason why I say that is because more of those bombers start to spawn. Just take care of those like that. Alright, so we're going to jump over and do the same again. Freeze him once he's frozen in place. Okay, you should not have been able to do that. That's a bug. <laughs> that is a bug. That definitely should not have happened. I'm going to try and lure him over here. Damn. If that happens, then you're just very unlucky. Because <laughs> that definitely should not have happened. If he comes too close, I have got a backup plan. Um... Wow, I'm actually kind of glad that I caught that on camera, just to show you that not everything goes according to plan. So quite literally, we are going to have to wait for our stuff to refill on the bottom left-hand corner. So we're going to bring him back on over. He's all the way back over there. We want to bring him back on over. We don't want him to be too far away. Come here, bro. Okay, freeze him. Throw the grenade. Get him a couple times with anarchy. And just watch his health go down. Literally as simple as that. Again, there will be a more accurate description as to how that process actually works on the MGN Destiny 2 YouTube channel. Anyway, so this is the final boss encounter. So the only way the boss will spawn is when you clear out these enemies. Just a little side note as well, I don't actually have the uh, helmet exotic yet. Uh, and this lost sector does actually reward that. So if I get the uh, exotic helmet... Then that would be great for a video, right? Alright, I don't want to kill him yet. I want to wait till my health actually regens. Alright, we are... Good. So quite literally, guys. Throw your anarchy shots. And then just run away. Literally as simple as that. And then just watch his health go down. Look at that. He's dying, as you can see. Look at the numbers in the background. And we're not even doing anything. You can have a sip of your water. You can have a snack. 
I'm literally just keep doing that. That's literally all I did. Look how low he is. Obviously, I know that has something to do with my light level. But this is this is what I did. <laughs> this is this is exactly what I did. I didn't do anything else. Eventually, you're gonna get something pop up. There you go. He's dead. Just got the notification to say so, and I'm just gonna run all the way over to the chest now that he's dead. Loot it. Oh, I didn't get the exotic, but that's fine. That is exactly how you do it, guys. Again, I just want to keep repeating the fact that I understand that I'm a high light level, but that doesn't matter. And the reason why I say that is because exactly what you just seen on screen just then is exactly what I did when I was 12, 27. Guys, there will be tons more information on the MGN Destiny 2 blog page. There's going to be a link to that in the description below. You're going to be able to find out some tips and tricks there. Understand how my grenade came back straight away. Understand why the champion kept getting staggered. It's all in there. So hopefully I'll see you there guys. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Nevertheless, definitely remember to hit that like button. If you did, hit subscribe on the channel if you want more Destiny 2 related content. And I'll see you in whichever video I next make. Guys, please stay safe out there and take care of yourselves.